A whiteboard with glowing ink and a desk made out of an ironing board. Just some of the ways teachers are getting creative from home. I love it. I have a teacher buddy who's already said, you know what? I like Rich's segment. Here he is explaining on today's TechSmart. Even six months in, many of us are still adapting to work from home, especially teachers who don't have access to the same classroom tools at home like they did at school. Now, educators are getting creative in the best ways to teach from home. Teachers and students facing the challenges of distance education. Emily Nix is a professor who teaches finance and business economics at USC. I do a lot of board work, and so I'm up at the board, writing things, talking to the students, so I wanted them to be able to see that, like have the feeling of a board, but also be able to see me. Her hack? She took a sheet of plexiglass and rigged it with LED lights around the edges. When she writes on the board, her words and diagrams come to life in an eye-catching glow. She uses free software called OBS to flip the image. But apparently some of my students actually think I learned how to write backwards. <laughs> Teaching hacks have flooded social media. Carmen Castrejon from King Drew High School in Los Angeles posted a way to show off documents on a webcam with just a pencil, CD, tape, and a quarter. There's a DIY standing desk made out of an ironing board and a $10 reflector, along with a free app called Osmo Projector to help share what you're writing. Teachers are also turning to online tools. Lizzie Stapleton uses a website called Quill to help teach grammar. It's just differentiated instruction for you built in, and they go at their own pace. Other helpful tools? Screencastify to create and share screencasts. Special tools let you write on screen. Videos up to five minutes are free. Prezi video lets teachers give virtual presentations, complete with compelling on-screen graphics next to their face kind of like what you see on the news. As price increases, you, the consumer, usually want to buy less of a good. Teachers now learning themselves, new ways to create and share on Zoom. Because at the end of the day, we want them to learn. We, want, we don't want this to be a lost year. Now there is one benefit to all of this. Teachers, students, and parents are becoming experts in all things Zoom, Google Classroom, and they're sharing what works and doesn't work with colleagues and classmates. You can find all the tools that I mentioned on my website. Just go to richontech.tv. I'm Rich DeMiro, and you are Tech Smart.